What is jujitsu? It's the way I open doors. It's the way I talk to my children. Jujitsu is everything. A martial arts that allowed me to be completely present, waking up every day and, I mean, choosing violence, like. I think I'm just addicted to the high of competing and, and winning and it's fun. Thanks to all the fucking haters. I think I'm an addict by nature and I just enjoy the thrill of it. Elijah Carlton. It kicks you into this state of, like I said, it's excitement or fear or nervousness or happiness. And then when you get to the battle, you get to the competition, all that stops. Oh my gosh, look it's almost this. like a feeling of oh, nirvana. This is a lifestyle for me. Uh, I take this super serious. I don't work. I train full time. I'm always in the gym looking to get better. There's no one in here working harder than me. You might be working harder than me somewhere else, but you ain't working harder than me in here. I feel like I have something to prove. I'm going to be the best in the world one day, so this is just the start of it. I'm just a normal person that really fell in love with the thing, decided to pursue it 100%, and yeah, this is what you have. I've just got a certain style. I think, I think it's very beatable if you train with me and you know it, but um, I just get people, if, you know? Jiu-Jitsu is different from most sports because you don't have a team, right? Most times it's just you in combat sports. There's not really a plan. There's just, I'm just here in the moment, you know? Just doing it, being a jabroni. Just the whole foundation of the thing is completely different. And that in and of itself makes it almost incomparable to everything else that goes on. I think that if the PGF can create what they're creating, it's gonna explode jujitsu and it's gonna put it everywhere. I do see a future in it. And I've always seen a future in it. The momentum, um, is way different than it's ever been before. I'm gonna win the season, and I'm sure as hell winning the finale. So, like I've said before, I I don't know much about jujitsu and like people who are in it or big names in the game. I kind of just go out there and play my game. I understand the principles to jujitsu, so it should be the same with everybody, regardless of what they do. This is one of Travis's scariest attacks. He's in. He's got it. He's got it. He's getting seven. There it is. Oh, wow. wow. Seven points. 18 seconds. That's the fastest sub of the season so far. That like those nerves of like gotten addicted to it. It's like adrenaline. It sucks. It's like uh, you can never like you can never stop it. You just got to learn how to control it and like thrive off of it. And it's something I just like. I thoroughly enjoy now. Like even though it does suck, like the feeling of it sucks, but like overcoming it and like that feeling is probably, I guess overcoming it and just beating it, you know? Either a break or a kill, but. The life's going right for it, he's got it already. That's the fastest sub I think we've ever had. Oh my goodness. Let's say as a little kid, you was playing hide and go seek and you're in a good spot and the guy who's it walks by, your heart is pumping and you're sweating and you're feeling, you feel crazy. Like you don't know exactly what that feeling is and it's just like adrenaline pushing through and you're, you're excited, but you're scared, but you're happy, but you're sad. And then he passes by and you just. Then when you get to the battle, you get to the competition, all that stops and you just start functioning. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, oh yes, it goes to wow. the triangle. Out of a nowhere. huge kill for Travis Thomas. Oh, Paul going for the toehold in his toehold rash car, trying to win this 500. Oh, he got oh, Lightning speed, picking up the elbow genie points. It's really about the mental battles. Like, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of all these guys. We came out here. It's hard. Three hard matches a day. My mind is just like a tag attack attack like even if it's just like tiny little off balances and just something to harass you like always throwing output out there someone's got to be number one you know <laughs> easy fucking money <laughs> real fucking easy hey elijah i am iron man i for sure would not feel fulfilled without doing something like this uh 
before I started doing this, I was welding and pipe fitting and that kind of just seemed like it was gonna come to a, an end one day. It's not something that was super fun. I need something in my life that is competitive and like there's some kind of strategy, there's some kind of struggle. I don't do very well in like a calm setting. I do very good in chaos. I think chaos is where I find my calmness. Travis, his little brother texted him the other day and told him, man, you're inspiring me to do my best. As a parent, that's huge. Like, just Travis doing his best and his little brother seeing him work so hard is worth more to me than all the money, all the belts, everything. That's success right there. A lot of people put into their mind that they want to be the champion or they say that they want to be the champion. And most of them don't ever become the champion. But nobody ever became the champion without making that decision first. Over a long enough timeline, the best guys end up on top and the worst guys end up on bottom and everybody else just kind of figures it out in the middle. So I went from working as a, a junior engineer, finishing school, um, just on the path to just a normal corporate life to waking up every day and, I mean, choosing violence. Like, the client is so strong for sex. She's strong for my size. Wow, Got just you. like that. Kaya Jackson, your winner and new 125 pound women's BGF champion, Hokage Nakaya Jackson! It's gotta find a way to hold on. Oh, come on, he's spinning already! Trying to get this arm triangle to keep the ride going is Thomas. The referee doesn't call it yet. Thomas trying to stick oh, with it. It's it. a wrap, and he's done. Kamoy Anderson with the big win. I was in the hallway earlier and I heard these girls speaking. They was like, I can't wait to see the Travis Elijah match. And in my head, I'm like, oh, so you just count me out, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's how I feel. I knew I'd be a little upset if I lost, but uh, I came out here and I for sure feel like I showed that I'm going to be top talent on this uh, jujitsu scene. And this is for sure just the beginning. I appreciate all y'all. Losses usually don't turn me away. They, they just bring me back because I understand in myself that I, I am going to be great at this and that losing is a part of the game, but we're just trying to make it happen a lot less. I'm a very proud dad. Very proud. Like I said, this sport, I finally seen my young man, my young son, turn into a young man. After 10 minutes, we are headed to EBI overtime. Kamoy Anderson on top here, offensively. Here comes the choke. Kamoy Anderson able to survive, though. Give it to him. Can he survive? Trying to squeeze. Short time. Oh, no. Goodness. Elijah Carlton, victorious in overtime. Man, I'm so appreciative of these guys behind me right here, man. I wouldn't be anywhere without these guys. Chase, come on. Um, thanks to all the fucking haters. Uh, You're welcome. I'm fucking <laughs> thriving. You know, I, I feel like it's the closing of a chapter is what it feels like. It feels like the end of the first movie.